Oh no, a power cut. Let me just get a candle. Oinch! I think I hit a table. Mm -mm, where is... Uh, mm, oh, here. Do you know, there are some people who have mastered the art of navigating in darkness. And they are also trained to read and write in the dark. These mighty people are the blind. And they do this with the unique writing system called Braille. I am so excited to tell you about the amazing story of this invention. Ah, oh, thank God it's back. Come friends, zoom in. The history of this unique writing system goes all the way back to the early 1800s. Several soldiers in the French army were using lamps to read the combat messages. A terrible decision as the light shining from the lamps told the enemies where the French soldiers were. A man named Charles Barbier saw this problem and developed a night writing system for the soldiers. It was a system with 12 raised dots in a cell which could be read with fingertips and it helped the soldiers read without attracting any unwanted attention. Then in 1821, Charles Barbier was invited to introduce the night writing system to a class of young blind students. However, there was one flaw in this system. It was just impossible to feel all the dots with a single touch. Still, it was enough to inspire one student, a curious little boy named Louis Braille. Braille was blinded at a very young age in an accident when he was playing with an awl and punching holes in leather. But a physical disability was no bar for Braille's bright spirit. Soon he was back in the workshop with his imagination. And this time, instead of leather, Braille was punching dots on paper. He worked tirelessly for years to modify Charles Barbier's night writing system for his fellow blind individuals. And soon enough, the hard work of this little genius bore fruit. Braille simplified the night writing system and reduced the 12 raised dots to 6. This meant that a single letter could now be recognized with a single touch. Now, that was a big improvement kids because it made reading for the blind much easier and faster. They were absolutely delighted. For the next 5 years, Braille refined the writing method which was already in use. Finally, in 1829, Braille published a book explaining the entire Braille code for writing and reading. Despite the great advantages of it, Louis Braille's own university refused to adopt the system. But there was no stopping him. He soon started spreading Braille amongst the students after being appointed as a teacher. This Braille move by Brave... Huh? <laughs> I mean, this Brave move by Braille helped the students immensely. And in 1854, two years after Louis Braille's death, the rising demands from the students made the university adopt the Braille writing system officially. Since then, Braille writing system has spread throughout the world and has been giving vision to the blind in the form of literacy. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, there it goes. That was my last copy of the Braille guide. I'll probably go and get some more. Oh, but wait. Stay right here. Trivia time! Do you know about these yellow things on the floor? Probably in train stations? 
These are actually helping hands for blind people, enabling them to find their way and avoid obstacles. And these are known as Braille for feet. Wait, this isn't a train, is it? Whoa! Oh, whoa! What is this? Hmm, why am I here? Ooh, ooh. Oh, look! That's our friend Louis Braille passing by. Did you know an asteroid has been named 9969 Braille to honor none other than Louis Braille? There it goes! So kids, you see how one man's invention helped so many blind people worldwide? Oh, wait! Maybe he can help me find my way back to Earth! Don't forget to tune in next time! This is me zooming out! Hey! Wait! Louis Braille! Louis Braille! Wait! Hey kids! You liked my videos, didn't you? Before you go, don't forget to click on the subscribe button and the bell so you won't miss out on my latest videos. <laughs> See you!